Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna try to remove and reinstall both side glasses on my BMW G20, so 2019 upwards 3 series. You'll have a similar side mirror glass and the mirror housing on most G series except for the X, which is like the SUV series but I'm just gonna be using a wider trim removal to something like this so that when I'm trying to pry the glass upward or from up to down uh, I'll have a little bit more of leverage try not to break the glass but you may not be able to notice I have already tried to replace this glass mirror with an off-brand which I'm not really happy with even though they are cheaper but the lights there just actually blinked and it's not even visible most of the time so that's why I'm replacing it with a genuine OEM product from eBay that's a used unit so let's just get started so I'll try not to be in a way off the camera too much but I have no guarantee, unfortunately. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna try to adjust the mirror glass to be... Uh, let's see if I can do it here. Upwards a little bit. So basically what I just did was to adjust the mirror glass tilting upwards. So I'll have more of a gap at the bottom and then also tilting the mirror glass on to the right side so i'll have kind of like this gap to work with ideally you will want to put some kind of masking tape over this area right here but it's my daily to me it's uh this moment is not really important uh this is also a classic trim tool that should not mar the surface or scratch up the surface at least too badly so Let's try. Since this is not actually OEM unit, I have no guarantee that the glass is not going to break. Oh, actually, it looks like it's just that easy. So you can see I was just priming it like that and it pops off. But at the same time, I try to apply a tiny bit of pressure with my left hand while I'm prying so that it's going to distribute the force I'm applying even though this is already like a pretty wide trim angle to uh, trim removal too it's still like this area of pressure I'm applying and while I put the pressure down with my left hand it's gonna spread pressure a little bit more to prevent the glass off even breaking so yeah now that we're basically done with prying up the bottom side of the glass you can just push your hand underneath and pry carefully around the side and voila just like that after it's gonna be held on by a couple of wires uh, I'm going to remove all of them and show you what actually is holding the mirror glass in place For now, let's try to do a comparison. This is my OEM glass, side mirror glass that I'm resting on, well, something. I'm gonna try to replicate it with the Eurospec side mirror glass holding the camera at the same distance. You should see what a difference it's gonna be with the Eurospec. Let's go. And now I'm cutting towards with the Euro spec camera at about the same distance away from the camera with the glass you should be able to see more and see how it's more zoomed in with the OEM North American spec and which is the reason why I'm switching out the side mirrors so I'm gonna be able to see more when I'm on the road just to add more road safety I'm 110% sure you'll see me struggle doing it because mine is not an OEM glass and the connection is a little bit weird. I have to modify it to 
have it fitted onto the bracket. Uh, I tried to take it off, but it wasn't really working, but the glass itself clipped into place just like that. So I didn't bother, but like I said, I'm not happy with how the glass is with the little light right here. The, the glass itself is completely fine, but the light right here is what's bothering me. So that's why I'm swapping out with the OEM used unit. And yeah, because I modified the connection, it's very, very tight. So I, I'm sure you will see me struggling removing it, but enjoy the view. This is essentially what you'll be looking at inside your mirror glass housing. Um, they're basically just this ring that's holding your mirror glass in place, as well as several wires that's holding your glass in place. The white connector, the one that's right here, that is, I believe, your anti-glare. These two are, well, Positive and negative, but it doesn't really matter because it's not polarized of which way it goes into uh, the connection of your actual glass. This is your heating element, but like I said, positive and negative doesn't really matter as long as you can plug it in, they're gonna work. And lastly, if you have the little triangle on your mirror glass, like this one right here, that means you have blind spot assistance. Actually, I'm just gonna get this too. Uh, blind spot detection B BSD. This is gonna plug onto here, and that's your BSD connection. So, and looking the the back side of your glass right here, this is your BSD. You just turn it around. You can see the little triangle that's right here. That's your BSD, and then these two kind of blade type of connections, that's your heating element that's going to heat up your side mirror glass. And this one, that's a white connector right here, is corresponding to this one, which is also your the connection of your anti-glare. So this is what's basically clipping like the ring you see here, corresponding to this ring right here, that's going to clip the glass in place. And for the next step, I'm just going to take my, well, new to me, Eurospec wide angle mirror and reverse everything that we've done in here. So there isn't really any prep work that needs to be done. Just connect everything that you see back in place and that should be all. I don't know if you notice when I'm trying to fit it back into place, I use the palm of my hand to push it back. I'm not using my finger, so this is again to distribute the force that you're applying, the pressure that you're applying, not to a single point. So in case the glass just works off, they can get pretty expensive, about a hundred dollars Canadian. So it could be like somewhere around eighty-five to one hundred twenty, depends on where you get it from. I, I think I got a pretty good deal from uh, eBay for the specs that I wanted, which is a Eurospec wide angle mirror with this line right here and BSD as well. I think I got a pretty good deal out of it for 200 Canadian dollars with shipping included as well. So, yeah, and try to wiggle from the side. You don't really hear it's loose against like it's not seated fully at the ring and it's just like flopping around see like this it's not moving it's not moving i think this side's good to go the lighting on the other side of the garage is not quite well put a spotlight at it but see I mean, but the procedure will be 
identical to the other side, I'm assuming. I haven't taken this off yet, so I'm not too 100% sure. I can't speak for you just yet, but same thing. We're gonna try with a light trim removal tool, and with the mirror, it's tilted towards the car and out, my well, guess, from the bottom. So let's go. As you know, I'm working on the passenger side right now, driver's side's all done. The mirror currently is out, uh, there is just three wiring connection, let's just say, that's holding the mirror in place. Of course, you've got your snap ring, that's actually holding the mirror. I should probably rephrase that. But yeah, snap ring holding the mirror, and then there are three wire connection that's also attached to the mirror that you'll have to remove. I wasn't sure how to remove this because it's completely different. This is your lane assist um, warning power connection. These two are just your regular heated mirror. There isn't uh, auto dip on the passenger side, it's only on the driver's side, that's why you only see three connections in total two that's positive uh, positive and negative for your heated mirror and this is your lane assist so this lane assist is completely different than what we had on the driver's side it's this dark part right here it's all weather stripping there isn't any locking tab that you can like push on tab on to get a release so I wasn't sure how to remove it but just doing some research online apparently you could just pull it out I tried it it actually worked just pull straight out with some a little bit of brute force you wouldn't want this to disconnect but there is no other way because you, as you can see there is no locking tab on this side the passenger side so just pull it right out and after you pull it out the mirror is going to be free this is the actual OEM mirror and as you can see this is the connector for lane assist there isn't anything that you could press on like on the driver's side so it's a little bit odd and these two are your positive and negative for the heated mirror there isn't really anything else like I said this is OEM and I'm going to show you another shot for the mirror that we'll be replacing with. The mirror that we'll be replacing the OEM one with, of course, is also going to be the Euro spec one. It's just like the driver's side. It's a white connector and looks completely different than the OEM mirror for a North American version for the lane assist i tried it it still fits for the this connector right here it still fits inside but um it's not gonna fill the fill up the entire hole i guess but um if you get the two pins to be seated with the connector it will still fit nicely but if it's going to work not sure i'll have to report back and this is just your standard Heating mirror positive and negative doesn't matter because it's not uh, doesn't matter of its polarity as long as it's plugged in um, it'll work so I'll report back welcome back into the garage today's the next day after some test driving with the side view mirrors with the wide angle Euro spec let's start with the driver's side first so the Euro spec side mirror is still on as you can see, there is a tiny line right here indicating it's not the North American spec. It's a Euro spec 
asymmetrical mirror glass. It's still on working flawlessly. However, if we switch over to the passenger side, the North American version, it's back on. And if you look back at the previous clip, the Euro spec that I've got, the connector for the active blind spot for the little triangle right there, it's different than the one I have OEM from the car. The connector, like I said, it would still go in. Kind of, it, it doesn't have a clip, so I cannot say it clips in place, but it'll still go in. But I'm just taking as reference uh, one of the mirror glass that I've got. So this triangle right here is very different from the OEM version, which is what I have on there of its connector. It'll still go into the plug just fine. Uh, there's no clip for it to clip into place, like I said, but it'll go in. My assumption is that the resistance or the ohm is different and the CAN bus system is not able to determine what's going on with the connector. So it will just throw on a bunch of errors. So lesson is that if you have this style of side view mirror, from the new one that's completely different than the one you have when you take off your side mirror on your car chances are they will not work properly however all in all i'm still enjoying the wide wide view that's provided with the euro spec it's very different than the north american version that's zoomed in glass and for the driver's side sorry the passenger side which is this one Right here, it's already wide angle from the North American version. Uh, it just lacks off that, um, I guess, the line telling you it's asymmetrical. So it's not really a big deal, but more so like the driver's side will be the big deal because zooming glass for North American version versus wide angle. So. I'm just going to keep it as is. I don't think I'll purchase another one for the passenger side because it's still working flawlessly even though it's, I guess, different without, with the line, without the line on the other side. But yeah, this is how you would remove and replace your mirror glass in case you will want to remove the mirror housing or the mirror cab for uh, the M version of it or the CF version of it, something else that you'll have to remove the glass. This is how you would do it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one.